then we had it on the opening day here at Bells Beach, and it was absolutely packed. It was a smaller day of surf. There's about eight surfers on every wave, and you're seeing these girls that are sometimes just beginners getting to surf against their heroes or with them and getting yeah. knowledge and being inspired to be, maybe be pro surfers competing at the Bells Bowl one day. The sport of women's surfing is going through the roof right now. We're going to have uh, some incredible young ladies coming through in the future. Equal pay was introduced this season. And Caroline Marks, the first recipient of that big check of $100,000. Falling on the first turn. What about here at Bells? How much room do you have when there's four surfers out? Well, there's not a whole lot, but there's plenty of room. As you can see, Steph, without priority, in her heat, going to work. So she gets a nice hit off the top, looking at a long, racy wall down the line. Big float drops in. I can't see it anymore, Joe. Coming off the float wash, she'll just step off. That was just good for one big maneuver. But the rooftop was uh, fun for Gilmore to sit on with that kind of speed. One maneuver section for Gilmore, just a warm-up wave. As she'll probably continue to hunt those without priority and probably attempt some big maneuvers like Nikki Van Dyke did, can kind of free surf the first half of their heat. This was Steph's last. For, you know, first maneuver, definitely a little bit off now. She races down the line, kind of in two minds, so deciding to go for that floater maneuver and then gets caught behind the section. So didn't really read that wave uh, that well, but, you know, a lip line float, yes, it's exciting. I, I don't think it's going to be a score by the end of Stephanie's heat anyway, but I like the fact she's just warming up, having a bit of fun probably. Um, you know, nervous moments. Your first heat really at proper Bells Beach here. It's going to be exciting. You want to make sure you're on the right waves. Waves pouring around the corner. Courtney's trying to recover from that mistake quickly. That's not going to set her up there. It's heading towards Stephanie Gilmore. There's that high line wrap. Beautiful bottom turn attacking the lift. Gilmore aggressively wraps it into the pocket and hops out of the And now making a move on this wave, seeing the start for Kobe Enright. Clean wrapping turn, attacking off the lip. More momentum to hit it off the roof. Beautiful flow for Enright. Sneaks in the wrapping cutback and just fades it through the inside. Coming off the trials win and now trying to upset one of the greats in pro surfing. Enright probably had the loudest cheering squad last year as a wild card as we uh, catch up with Gilmore she got this wave during the break all right well this is uh, very similar to uh, Carissa Moore's approach you know you put both these two surfers in a heat together and we're going to see fireworks Steph Gilmore keep that variety going and you're going to get those big scores seeing Kobe Enright deep on the wall she's going to opt out after missing that section Kobe waited patiently for her start, turned in a 4.93. Gilmore's low score is a 5.17, so Enright knows she's got a little bit of work to do. Yeah, this is, uh, it's one of the last kind of pristine ecosystems around the world. Uh, they, want to, they want to drill smack bang in the middle of the National Marine Park. 85% of the animals in the, uh, found in the Great Australian Bite are only found in the Great Australian Bite. And it's also, it's at a time in 2019 where we're watching a lot of things happening around the world. It's not going to be a massive score, but building up her points. Uh, uh, this was during the interview for, for Kobe. Nice jamming manoeuvre, tight in the pocket. And that's where all the, the power is, Joe. Sometimes these waves go a little flat, so you want to get that board nice and vertical in that critical uh, section of the wave. And that's where the judges are going to throw big points at it. So Kobe's starting to build up her momentum, looking stronger and stronger as his heat progresses. 5.93 on this occasion, so she's right back in the mixture. Steph Gilmore uh, just on a roll here, catching a lot of waves, which I enjoy as well. Who doesn't like watching Steph Gilmore surf, especially with maneuvers like that off the top? And again, the flow is so important out here. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom of the wave, Joe. You want to kind of let three-quarter survive towards the tail end, getting her best wave right at oh. the end. Coming off the top and falling is Kobe Enright. As she's been building on her score line. 4.93 was her start to a 5.83. Kobe already talking it over with Steph Gilmore, not seeing another opportunity coming through. Gilmore keeps that hot streak alive, always making the quarterfinals.